So it was a hell of a week, but what is up for you? Like, what's up next in adaptive golf? Do you have a plan? What will you going after? Yeah, um, I'm going to be playing um, in the Gap Championship, um, which is the Golf um, Association of Philadelphia. Um, okay, cool. I believe I said that correctly, but it is Gap and it is Philadelphia. Um, and I actually met um, the um, woman who is putting it on or helps put it on. Uh, her name's Ad- Anna Kittleson. Um, great, great person. And, um, she, she came right up to me and she's like, so this is kind of a funny story. So I hadn't told my dad yet that I had signed up for this event. Right. Mm-hmm. And Anna comes up and, you know, Anna's a good looking younger girl. And she, she comes up and, you know, Ricky, you know, hi, how are you? I'm Anna. And I was like, Oh, great to meet you. And, um, she's like, I'm so glad you signed up for our championship in October. And I'm like, <laughs> you know and, and my dad's like oh, oh. you uh, he didn't tell me about this he's like what championship <laughs> so um my it was it was funny i kind of got razzed by my dad the whole week but it was um it, it was funny that she comes up and she's like i'm so glad that i'm like <laughs> like in the cart like no no don't say it but um so really excited to play in that and then uh the referee that um was um with us for the third day kept saying to me that i should go play in the ohio um adaptive tournament in early august um so i'm gonna i'm gonna hopefully sign up for that one and uh go play out in ohio in august and i just i want to play as much as i can um, I, I love these adaptive tournaments, but really like, it's going to be kind of eye opening for me in the fact of I've played in one adaptive tournament and it was literally what they call an adaptive major. Right. Like, yeah. like, it's like the biggest everybody one, one I met ones. and would talk to was like, Oh, that's great. Like play in more tournaments. It's nothing like this. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> yeah. the hospitality and the stuff like that is just, top notch here and they really do put in their best effort and you know you it's a usga tournament like literally mm-hmm. ran by the usga and um not every tournament is obviously so um it'll be kind of cool to see kind of and honestly i'm gonna go to philly and ohio with the intentions to fucking win it hell yeah yeah you should yeah you know i had a guy albert boker um, who's from California, he went out to the PGA Championship of Adaptive Golf in Florida of uh, Port St. Lucie, and he shot 72, 75, 73, or I, I might butcher that, but he shot those scores, and he actually came in second overall. Wow. So, like, you know, like, there obviously there's no Kip Popper at Yeah, a lot Florida. of the higher in the standings were more international players. So. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I really, I, I want to try and do well at these tournaments and, um, and, and eventually, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to fucking grind my ass off here and, um, really, really kind of put some work in and work on my game and work on myself over the winter. And, um, come and fly in next year and hopefully playing a lot of adaptive tournaments next year. And, Honestly, like it's an expense, but at the same time, it's well worth it to get my name out there. And you know, I got to take advantage of it now before it gets too too big, which I really hope yeah. it does get Absolutely. big. Yeah. Right? I know we were but talking about that, if it's uh, if next year's uh, opens. What in Maryland? Is that what it is? Yeah. So next yeah, two so years. Guess what? Yep. TJ and I'll probably come down. So we'll probably make it, oh, make it a, like a, a day or two that we'll go down there and watch, come support, get some, get some footage, do a little do a little mid-round interview yeah and we'll have ricky absolutely. riley bucket hats for everybody to sign <laughs> yeah, yeah. absolutely we should we, get those um, flags with that logo that tj made dude sign those hand them out there you go That's yeah fucking money absolutely right there, dude. that that logo dude was so funny i can't do i it. said if we're gonna do it it was a rough it was just a rough sampler, draft but if we're gonna yeah. have you on all the time it makes sense it's so <laughs> solid it's we so gotta cool. we gotta get you out for a round now. We were like we wanted you to focus on all right. this, but we gotta get sure. you out for a round with us now. And you're a member at Timberbanks, right? Correct. 
We're playing there tomorrow afternoon tomorrow for his for bachelor, bachelor party. party. Oh, it's no our first time there. You know what's funny? <laughs> we did have a person drop. If you're our, free, about 2 o'clock. Our tea time is 2, 2.05, I think. Somewhere around there. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> who's uh, who's your brother? I was just looking at the tea sheet. Hold on, let me, let me it's see. under. It should be under Vega. Probably under Vega. Yeah. Oh, I saw him. Benny, get over here. Uh, two ten. We have two ten and two twenty, and I think somebody somebody dropped. So I'm pretty sure we've got. Like two threesomes, and, or we'll have a, a threesome and a twosome. So if you want to come, you're more than welcome to. Would I play with you guys? We can make that happen. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The two of the guys coming, like my my best man, and then the guy that's actually DJing, are like. He's our. He's my not... drummer in my band. He's never swung a golf club ever. Brandon has been to the range. Been the range for me. I've watched him swing. It's... But two of them are like go to the range every couple years. Like it's mm. gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. I got, I got a match being set up right now, um, around like twelve ish, but it's kind of shaky. So if it ends up dropping and there's still an availability in the morning, I do. I'd fucking love to hop. Absolutely love to hop on. Yeah, text me. That'd be cool. Love that. Um, That'd be so sweet. So yeah, best of luck to you, man. Thanks for filling us in. Thanks for being, you know. Um, uh, not a basic bogey going out there and just fucking shredding up the courses, but um. Dude, it was so much. It was so much fun to watch, and like, we were texting each other back and forth about it all weekend, and it was it was a cool yeah, thing man. to be a part of, even from the distance. But big big shout out to you, congratulations, and uh, obviously keep us up to date with everything else you're doing. And we'll get you out on the course. Absolutely, we'll have, some, we'll have some fun, brother. Thanks, boys. The support was felt, and uh, it's been it's been a pretty awesome week, and it, it's felt pretty pretty heavy. And I'm looking forward to just kind of getting back into my life and. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah. kind of living, living free there for a few weeks, and and trying to get a little better, and and then kind of going to attack Ohio and um, and um, Philly. So we'll uh, we'll update you guys at every tournament. And uh, for now, I appreciate all the support and stuff. And we made it, and we did it. And now to the next one. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.